People have been asking me to share the UI code I use in basically all of my projects for like a year now, and I finally got and done that. Now that the GameMaker Language 2.3 beta is now out, I've taken the opportunity to rewrite most of the code, port it to 2.3, make it much nicer, actually write some documentation for it, get rid of all the annoying special cases that I've had to write in for the specific things that I'm doing, and it's now out in the world and you can go mess around with it. Right now you can get it through the, uh, the itch.io page or the GitHub repository if you like GitHub. Later on, I'll be uh, making it a GameMaker Marketplace asset and posting it on there. All the links to all the relevant things are in the video description. As you can see, it's meant to imitate common desktop software user interface elements like text inputs and buttons and tab groups and all that sort of thing. You can even just drop in a UI element that's a secondary surface that you can render whatever gameplay stuff you want onto. If you're making a tool of any kind, this is probably something that you'll be very interested in using. If you're making an actual game, you can still use it. There are games that have pretended to take place inside things like desktop publishing software and that kind of thing. If that's your aesthetic, feel free. The documentation for all the things is on the GitHub wiki page. There's also an example program included. At some point, I might just make a series of video tutorials for it itself. But I'll be honest, that's going to be weird on the same kind of level as that one time that I let's played a game that I made a couple of years ago. Again, just to make sure that everybody is on the same page about this, this is only for Game Maker Studio 2.3. It makes use of quite a lot of the new language features that were introduced in 2.3. It will not work at all in 2.2. I will not be backwards porting it to 2.2. There's a reason that I waited an entire year to do this. If you ask me about 2.2, I'm telling you right now, the answer is going to be a no. If you already have access to the 2.3 beta, great. If not, I'm sorry. I hope they're getting closer to opening it up to a, uh, a public beta and or official release. Anyway, there you have it. The whole thing's free like most of the stuff I make. Although considering how much time this did actually take to make, I would appreciate a voluntary donation if you are so inclined. Anyway, links to it are around. Uh, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games, and I will see you all later.